Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about the common source amplifier. One of the three stages like a common drain, common source, common gate. So first you are going to learn about common source amplifier and its analysis, small signal analysis to calculate the voltage gain, input impedance and output impedance. So first common source amplifier. common source amplifier so common source amplifier that means what is the meaning of common source amplifier source terminal is common between input and output source terminal is common between if you take this mass transistor this is the gate drain and source so this source terminal is common between input and output. If we if input is taken between gate and source and output is set from drain and source. So this terminal is common between input and output. So now you are going to see the amplifier which is a self bias circuit or we can say voltage divider network of this amplifier for the common source. See. This is source resistor RS. These are biasing resistors R1, R2, Rd and this is RS. Along with these we have coupling capacitors C2. And C1. This is the place we are applying the input signal, a sinusoidal signal. And here we have a bypass capacitor. And here we are taking the output V out minus plus. And here we are applying the biasing supply plus VDD. This is VN. Okay. So this is the common source amplifier and R1, R2 are uh, voltage dividing networks. C1 and C2 are the coupling capacitors. RS and CS are bypass capacitor and bypass resistors and RD is the load resistor. Now we have to keep one point in mind that the capacitor CS is having much impact on the influence of gate gain okay it is having much influence on the gain the increment or decrement of the gain is completely depending upon the action of cs action of cs suppose if rs is there in the circuit then we will have a control over the gain if rs is not there in the circuit then we don't have any control over the gate see if cs is short circuited if CS is shorted, then we cannot control AV. If CS is open circuited, then we can control we can control AV by a negative feedback by a negative feedback through RS by a negative feedback through RS. This is the advantage of resistance RS. Okay. So now let us see the small signal equivalent model of this particular network. Small signal model so for the small signal model two points we keep in mind all dc voltage sources all dc sources must be grounded 
all DC voltage sources must be grounded. And what is the other point I told you? All capacitors should be short circuited. All capacitors should be shorted. All capacitors should be shorted. Now let me draw the circuit diagram with these two assumptions so that we can draw the small signal model. R1, R2 and here we don't have coupling capacitor. What is the purpose of coupling capacitor? Coupling capacitor is used to stop entering the DC signal into the circuit and as well as to the other circuits. Here as capacitor, all capacitors are short circuited. So as capacitor CS is short circuited, RS also short circuited. Hence the source terminal is connected directly to the ground. Okay. So RD, this is plus VDD. Here it is at the ground and it is the output voltage terminal R1, R2, Vn. Okay. So this is the way how to convert the given circuit diagram into a small signal model ready model to small signal it is not a small signal model uh, this uh, vdd should be grounded okay this vdd should be grounded okay now see the small signal equivalent model <clears throat> first we need to take vgs plus minus VGS okay this is source terminal this is gate terminal this is source terminal and next at the drain terminal we have a dependent current source this is common for all and resistor RD internal resistor RD like this. What is the value of this one? GM VGS. Okay. And next, what are the other circuit components we have? This is the equivalent model for the transistor alone. Now we need to add the circuit components. What are the circuit components we have? See, write the names of these terminals, gate, drain and source. From gate to ground, what are the components existed? From gate to ground, here R2 is there. And again, from gate to ground, R1 is there. And again, from gate to ground, Vn is there. So, three components are there. One voltage source and two resistors. And that two, two resistors are coming in parallel. So, this is R2. This is R1. And this is Vn. This is Vn. Okay. So R1 and R2 are in parallel. Coming to the output side, from drain to ground, source is at ground. From drain to ground, we have Rd. This is capital Rd, which is a drain resistor and across which we are taking the output voltage. Okay. Output voltage is taken like this plus minus. Okay, now voltage gain. So, first we need to calculate the voltage gain. Voltage gain, uh, in order to write the voltage gain, let me write the equation for V out. So, output voltage, output voltage V out is equal to output voltage V out is equal to C. The same current goes to the ground and again entering into this RD and as well as this RD. So, V out is equal to what we can write minus GM VGS into RD parallel RD. Minus GM VGS RD parallel RD. What is VGS? VGS is the voltage from gate to source. And similarly, the same voltage we can equate it to Vn, which is also from the same terminals. 
So from circuit, from circuit, VGS is equal to V in. That is equal to V out equal to minus GM V in into RD parallel RD. RD parallel RD. So what we need? Therefore, AV voltage gain is equal to V out by Vn is equal to minus Gm Rd parallel Rd. This is the voltage gain. Coming to the input impedance, input impedance Zi. Input impedance Zi. What is Zi from the circuit? Go to the circuit. Look here. This is Zi from here. We can calculate Zi. And from this point, we can calculate Z0. So Zi is equal to open circuited. Zi is open circuit. No, no, no. Zi is a parallel connection of R1 and R2. So Zi is equal to R1 parallel R2. That is equal to R1 R2 by R1 plus R2. Coming to output impedance. Coming to output impedance. Z0. Z0 is equal to what is Z0 from the same circuit? Z0 is equal to a parallel connection of RD and RD. RD parallel RD. That is equal to RD RD by RD plus RD. See this small RD is the internal resistance from drain to source. Small RD is internal resistance from drain to source of a transistor. Okay, this particular resistance RD can also be given in some test books as R0, small R0. Both are same. Okay, don't confuse. This resistance and that R0 both are same. According to our convenience, we can take in any way. Okay, so this is the way to calculate a common source amplifier parameters. Now, see, here I told you one important point. Keep this point in brackets what is the significance of rs what is the significance of rs rs is having highest impact on the gain rs is having highest impact on the gain if rs increases gain has to decrease but such relation we have not come across av is not at all related to rs see this equation AV is not at all uh, related to RS. So now in this particular analysis, we have done the small signal model for the common source amplifier without source resistor, without source resistor. So now we need to do the common source amplifier with the source resistor so that how this uh, gain can be controlled using this RS that we can go, we can learn. Okay. Uh, you can name it as common source with resistive load common source with without source resistor common source amplifier common source amplifier without source resistor this is the 